This clinical skills video is going to focus on airway management. We're going to run through a stepwise airway management approach. First, we're going to check that the airway is clear and we're going to consider using suction if required. To perform a head tilt chin lift, we place one hand on the top of the patient's head and gently tilt their head backwards. We place two fingers on the bony part of the chin and gently lift upwards. To perform a jaw thrust, you must position yourself at the patient's head. Identify the angle of the mandible, place your fingers behind the mandible and lift it in an upward and forward direction, using your thumbs to open the patient's mouth. To perform single person ventilations using a BVM, you first need the correct mask size. This should extend from the bridge of the nose to the chin. Use a C shape with your thumb and index finger and rest this on top of the mask. Place the middle and ring finger on the ridge of the jaw. Gently squeeze the bag just enough to see chest rise. Open the patient's mouth and ensure that it's clear. Check for any foreign bodies, vomit, blood or secretions. Consider using suction. The OP airway should be measured from the patient's incisors to the angle of their jaw, then set upside down along the roof of the mouth, rotate 180 degrees and locate. The nasal pharyngeal airway should be measured from the tip of the nose to the tragus of the ear. Ensure it is well lubricated with the bevel facing the nasal septum. Insert it fully. Select the correct size eye gel. The weight ranges are provided on the eye gels themselves. For a guide, a 3 is a small adult, 4 for a medium adult or a 5 for a large adult. Place a small amount of lubricant on the inner and outer rim of the device. Open the patient's airway and insert the eye gel until definitive resistance is felt. The bite block should end up at the level of the incisors. Check for good chest rise. Attach capnography detector, the catheter mount, and the bag valve mask. Check for end tidal carbon dioxide, bilateral chest rise and good equal air entry. The eye gel should then be appropriately secured. Continue to ventilate the patient. 